Hey guys, this is James Gavsey. I'm one of the producers of Digital Sky's new upcoming visual podcast experience, Rideshare the Series, premiering on September 15th. In case you didn't know, Digital Sky's first season was an anthology that serves as a collection of pilots. And from our first season, we've decided to take our very first episode, Rideshare, and give it its own 10-episode arc. Rideshare tells the story of Keith, played by Emmy Award winner Eric Martsoff, a dangerous con artist posing as a friendly rideshare driver in order to get close to his unsuspecting targets. Rideshare the series is the ongoing adventures of Keith, who meets mysterious femme fatale Lydia, played by Britt Barron, star of the Final Fantasy VII remake and Glow on Netflix. To prepare you for Rideshare the series, we're re-releasing episode one of Digital Sky, Rideshare, so you can get to know Keith once more and see what he's really capable of doing. Stick around to the end, where we'll bring you a one-on-one interview with Eric Martsoff, where he'll explain what you can expect from Rideshare the series. Because we're all like, wow, that's, I don't know if this has really been done before in this way. So, you know, I'm in. I love, I love fear. I love to dive in when something's a little scary and, and something's a little off. So sit back, relax, and get ready to see if you can spot the con. A powerful force in the universe brought us all together for a reason. You can't deny it. Well, actually, a rideshare app brought us together. Give me your hand, Keith. Give me what? Nah, don't bother even trying to say no to her, bro. (laughs) It's okay, Keith. I just want to read your palm. Okay. Wow. Look at your heart line. There's a peculiar break that crosses at a 45-degree angle. Right here. Oh, oh, God, Denny, Denny. What the hell? Once upon a time, not so long ago, people who needed to drive somewhere without access to their own car would call a taxi. These bright yellow chariots could be waved down in a city or called from somewhere in town or outside a bar. Taxis were often messy, smelly, and broken down, but people felt pretty secure traveling in a bonded vehicle backed by a company with a professional dispatcher holding the line. If people preferred a free ride, they might deploy their thumb to illegally hitchhike dangerously getting into the vehicle of a complete stranger whose intentions are unclear. But today, if a ride is desired, there's an incredibly convenient and legal way to get from one location to another. Now take a drive into the theater of the mind. Digital Sky. Rideshare. The West Hollywood Sunset Strip. World famous for its trendy boutiques and chic cafes, but mostly for the nightlife scene, where the hip crowd of wealth and celebrity meet to party. Stepping out of one of the finest clubs on the Strip is Keith, a tall, handsome man in his late 20s, looking cool in his designer jeans and tailored shirt. Keith puts on his glasses so he can look at the Rideshare app. And enter. All right, let's see. Tonight, do I want A, luxury, 1757, B, standard, 945, or C, shared, only $7.28. That seems like a good deal. Your driver, Denny, has arrived in a red Ford Focus. Please be sure to check the license plate before getting into the vehicle. Denny, a 28-year-old, bald and muscular man with masculine tats and piercings, sticks his head out of the car window. Keith! Uh, Denny? (laughs) Jump on in, my man. Whew, that was fast. Amazing, huh? I don't get how these big companies figure this stuff out. You know what you mean? I mean, they put together a bunch of ones and zeros and suddenly it's a thing. (laughs) I ain't complaining. It's not a bad way to make some money. So is business good? Pretty good. This is the perfect job for me. A lot of people drive for side hustle. Not me. I just don't want to be trapped in a job where I don't get to make my own hours. Know what I mean? Yeah. So how's your night been so far? Uh, Pretty good. Thanks. So, um, how does this work? 
I mean, I've never shared one of these rides before. It's pretty simple. My next passenger is going, uh, going the same direction. I pick them up and drop you first. Okay. Well, that sounds good to me. I, I don't know why more people don't choose the share option. The passengers get to save and the driver makes more money. I guess most people don't want to get stuck in a car with a stranger. <laughs> I'm a stranger, Keith. Yeah, I know, but I don't have to. I don't have to talk to you. Shit. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, I know, because I'm just a driver, and you pay me to shut up if you want. <laughs> I'll shut up. Shut up. Right? But look, I just mean you're you're cool, but the other passengers aren't vetted like the drivers are, right? We're not really vetted that much. Our cars are. Drivers just need a current state license and a pledge to stay uh, sober and wear clothes. Well, I'm, I'm assuming you are both those things? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your team? Uh, team? Sports team. You a Dodger fan? Well, I'm not really into sports. That's cool. I waste too much time watching myself, but I love it. Do you play any sports? I play poker. I mean sports sports. I played linebacker in college. Always felt good to get out there and hit some people. You know what I mean? Uh, no. Uh, I'm not really supposed to ask, but what do you do for work? Uh, car business. Oh, yeah? Making them, selling them? Parts. So when do we pick up the next person? Why? You tired of talking to me already? No, I wasn't. I... I'm just messing with oh. you, Keith. You're a really good guy. Uh, you're a good guy, too, Danny. That should be them on the corner. They look pretty wasted. She looks pretty hot. Alex! Yeah, bro? Jump on in. I would be happy to move, move over. No, 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 it's fine. We'll let you have the middle seat. Hi, I'm Nicole. He's Alex. Who are you? Um, Keith. I'm, I'm Keith. So great to be sharing this ride with you, Keith. What's up, bro? Hey, Alex. <laughs> oh, I like your, what is that, amulet? Uh, yeah, thanks, but no, it's not an amulet. This, this right here, this is a talisman. Oh, what, what, what's the difference? Amulets are meant to protect the person wearing it from evil. Ah. Talisman, now that brings power to its wearer. And guess what? It's made of pure gold, bro. Whoa. <laughs> That's really cool. Hey, sup, Vin Diesel? <laughs> you can just call me Denny. Are you fast and furious? When I have to be. Oh, my God. We need to go to Denny's for Mooned Over My Hammy. Denny's with Denny. That'd be perfect. All right, everyone. Buckle up. Denny, <laughs> you are so awesome. <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, it, it, we're, not, we're not really going to Denny's now, are we? Yeah, but, Denny, could you slow down a little bit? What's the matter, brother? Aren't you hungry? Just please drop me off first. I have a sense that it's more than just the Grand Slam breakfast getting in your way. Keith, something deeper is going on with you. She has an eerie gift to see right into people's souls. Give me your hand, Keith. So, give me what? Uh, uh, don't bother even trying to say no to her, bro. <laughs> it's okay, Keith. I just want to read your palm. Okay. Wow. Look at your heart line. There's a peculiar break that crosses at a 45 degree angle. Right here. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me see. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Hey, Denny, check this out. I've never seen a heart line do that. <laughs> oh, God, Den Denny, Denny, watch the road. What the hell? I'm driving here. Somebody hurt you really bad, Keith. Very recently. Am I right? You can see that? Really? That's uncanny, huh, Keith? It's okay to open up to us, Keith. Give your feelings permission to come out. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm not really ready to talk about it. <gasps> the four of us should just fuck it all and go to Vegas! You can't be sad in Vegas! Oh my god, Alex! Awesome! Vegas, baby! <laughs> yeah. Why the hell not? I make my own hours. I don't, I don't think that's something I can do <laughs> right now. Can't do or you won't do, Keith? Come on, Keith. Sometimes you just got to grab light by the ball sack and just go for it. I have a really, really important meeting tomorrow. What could be more important than spending time with friends, Keith? Friends? We, 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 we just met, man. 
A powerful force in the universe brought us all together for a reason. You can't deny it. Well, actually, a rideshare app brought us together. Mm. Keith, you gotta admit we hit it off the second you first got into my car. I mean, yeah, we did. But here, here, come on, man, look. Put your hand right here on my talisman. Look at that. You feel that force between us, man? You feel that, right? I, I, I feel it. Yeah. Jedi Knights with that force. Well, it, I would have to see if Holy I... shit, we're really going to do this thing. Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. Well, Daddy, 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 what are you doing? Woo! What are you doing, man? Vegas, baby. Look, you guys... <laughs> Vegas. Okay, look, you guys are great. You really are a lot of fun, but I, I was not prepared for this. Keith, don't you see? You need this right now. Yeah. You need to be with people who really care about you. Bro, for sure. Danny, please, well, just just please drop me off at my stop. No more stops on this ride. Well, stop to pee, though, right? And to get gas and snacks on the way, of course. And Pat's Blue Ribbon! Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, look, look, if I can, if I can make just one quick stop, maybe I can go. I mean, hey. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Why not? That's what I'm talking about! This guy! I seriously love everyone in this car right now. I couldn't imagine going on this adventure with anyone other than you guys. This is crazy, but you know what? Why not? Let's just yeah! go. Yeah! Of course, why not? I knew it! Of course, we, why not? Danny, we just gotta go to my stop so I can pick something up. Just don't ditch us once we get there. Yeah, that's definitely not cool, man. Come on, guys. Keith wouldn't do that to us. Right, Keith? No, no, I'm totally down. We're going, we're going. I just need to do this thing for work so I don't get fired. And then I swear to God, I'll be right back in the car. We got to Vegas, baby! <laughs> yeah! I love it, I love it. We're going to be best friends. You are arriving at your first drop-off point. What are we doing in an empty parking lot? I know, I know, so weird, right? Just, just pull up and park in one of those spaces. Okay, now let's all get out of the car. Wait, is this a drug deal going down? It's cool if it is. Nobody's judging you. Guys, just play it cool, all right? Just come out for a minute so the people I'm meeting can see that I have friends with me, all right? It's fine. <clears throat> um, I'll, I'll just wait here in case we need to drive away in a hurry. Don't worry, Danny. You're not going to have to do that. Keith, what do you need a gun for? Let's go, Denny, out of the car. I said, get out! What the fuck, bro? Ah! Scream away, honey, okay? No one can hear you out here. I chose the perfect spot. Don't try running. I'm a really, really good shot. You couldn't shoot us, Keith. It's not who you are. Uh-huh. You need some change? Huh? Oh, my oh, God! God! What the hell? Parking meter first. Yeah. Whoever runs is next. Not cool, bro. You're right, Nicole. I don't want to have to hurt you. Come on, Danny. Time to get out of the car. Now! Get out! Fight or flight. Nature's response when facing extreme danger. Adrenaline kicks in and fear takes over. Danny, Danny, easy, Danny. It's nothing personal, Danny. I just want your car and all your stuff. That's why I picked the rideshare option. So you see, more people, more stuff. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. You know what? Maybe we can do this some other way. What'd you have in mind? Nicole. What? what? Are you serious, Alex? You seem to like him. No, thank you. I'm good with just the car and all your stuff. Can I at least keep my talisman? Well, you said it was solid gold, right? What if I lied? Did you lie? No. As strong as Denny may be, he knows he's not more powerful than a gun. Still, Denny is a madman. And a madman has to sometimes go for it. Sure, Denny. You're choking me! Run, Nicole, run! Yes. Yes, okay. Come on! Okay. Guys, that's the last parking meter I'm gonna kill tonight. I can't breathe. Get in there and help Denny. Which one's Denny? You're joking me! 
What should Nicole and Alex do when faced with the risk of their own mortality? I'm coming, Denny! Keith has no problem overcoming his new friends. He demonstrates skills and experience as he puts them all to the ground, his pointed gun keeping them frozen in place. You guys just calm down. This is gonna be over soon. Come on, Jedi, Power Rangers, all your stuff. Throw it in the car. I want your wallets, I want your watches, I want your idiotic amulet. Why are you doing this, Keith? We tried to be your friend, Keith. That's why I'm letting you live. Real smart, Keith. The rideshare app is gonna track down your identity through your phone. <laughs> Come on, Denny. Seriously, I stole this phone from someone else. Now, you guys should still go to Vegas together. I mean, your luck has gotta change. You really turned out to be a dick, you know that, Keith? Nope. You just shouldn't have trusted a stranger. Let's see. Five stars, $100 tip, wipe for fingerprints. Here, Denny. Why don't you take this Keith guy's phone and get the rideshare app to get home? Thanks. Just remember, whatever your name is, Karma is a bitch. Yeah, well, Karma's a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be waiting for her when she comes, all right? Hey guys, in the future, please be careful when you get in the car. Friendships come and friendships go. And sometimes over a ride shared for $7.28. Pretty good deal. Well, look at that. Somebody needs a ride to Beverly Hills. Except... Your passenger should be on the right-hand side. Uh, Richard? Yep, that's me. Hey, you Denny? Yeah, I'm Denny. Hop in the car, my man. Yeah, well, the car's right, but you look kind of different from the guy in the picture. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. I shaved and I lost the face jewelry. Finished the look with a new pair of glasses and a hat. Tips got a little better after that, you know? True, true. Presentation is everything in business. Absolutely. What kind of business are you in, man, if you don't mind me asking? No, not at all. I'm a financial advisor. Whoa, financial, that's, that sounds like important stuff. Yep, people trust me with their money. And uh, <laughs> I make their money work for me. And it's totally legal. Wow, that's cool, man. No, it's not like I screw anyone. Believe me, they do a lot worse without me. <laughs> that they do. How was your night? Uh, not great. You know, I've seen this smoking hot model, but you know, I don't care how good looking she is. She was acting like a bitch, so I left her there. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. You know, these hot girls, they think they can just get away with anything because they're like, you know, hot girls. She doesn't know that one day she's going to lose those looks and realize she forgot to get a personality. Ha! <laughs> you know, man, that's funny. Yeah, beauty's only skin deep, right? <laughs> Good thing there'll never be a shortage of hot girls coming to L.A. No, that's why I drive the strip. <laughs> You're arriving at your drop-off point. At which side of the street? Oh, just uh, pull left into the driveway and I'll get out. Uh, you got it. Hey, really good meeting you, man. Yeah, you too. Hey, hey, listen, man. I'm, I'm not supposed to do this, but can I ask you a big favor? Uh, what is it? I gotta pee. I gotta pee, and I don't want to wait till I get back to the strip. I mean, look, dude, I'd go find a bush somewhere, but it doesn't seem right doing that. It's kind of a nice neighborhood right now. Sure, sure. Yeah. You seem like a good guy. Come on in. You can do your thing. Thanks. Oh, this is a really beautiful place, Richard. You, you got this all to yourself, huh? Yep. Business is good. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, uh, let me just turn my alarm off. It's been so great having you for this episode of Digital Sky Rideshare. Subscribe now to Digital Sky on Apple Podcasts. Rideshare was written and directed by Scott Zacharin. Produced by Robert Benton, Robert L., and Scott Zacharin. Starring the voices of Eric Martzolf as Keith, 
Bridget Fetessy as Nicole, Maz Siam as Denny, Ryan Leslie Fisher as Alex, and Sam Lucas Smith as Richard. Engineered and mixed by Rick McRae. Engineer assistant Jonathan Cronin. Recorded at Conscious Studios in beautiful Santa Monica, California. Sound supervision by Johnny McConville. Edited by Rick McRae. And co edited by Johnny McConville. And I am your narrator, Anna Brisbane. Digital Sky was created by Scott Zachary. Digital Sky is a Zoit Media production. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts and share with your friends. Zoit! On September 15th, the Digital Sky Podcast presents Rideshare the Series. I'm just going to steal your car and see where the road takes me. You're not taking my car. An enigmatic con man. Who the hell are you? Who could be behind the wheel of your next trip? You can call me Keith. A dangerous stranger. You look kind of different from the guy in the picture. Capable of anything. He deserves to be castrated, not murdered. We should castrate him first. Emmy winner Eric Martzoff and Britt Barron, star of the Netflix series Glow, lead an all-star cast. Get out! Oh, oh, God. God. Subscribe now at youtube.com slash digital sky for groundbreaking visual versions of the Digital Sky podcast. It's the star of Rideshare. It's Eric Martzoff. Eric, how are you? Oh! What's Mr. Martzoff. Up? When you first read the script, how did you know exactly what to do to bring this character to life? Well, first and foremost, yeah, no, I've been eavesdropping the whole time. Thank you for everybody for what you said about Rideshare. And um, I, I would disagree with you. I, I think the magic in it is actually the way the episode was crafted. Um, it's, 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 when I listened to it, I, I, could, I could smell the environment. I could, I could hear the environment. I, could, I think production did such a great job of, of physically just, just bringing this audio into your senses. And I felt like I was in the car with these people. And I, I love a good con man. I, I do as well as, as you were to say. I mean, who, who doesn't? I think this, this kind of episode is so <laughs> appropriate right now when we're all sequestered in our homes, got nowhere to go, we're all dying to get out there. And here's the story about this guy, and we don't know why. Why does he do the things he does? But he's out there punching holes in society. We have all this technology that's moving too fast, and there's always gonna be someone who's able to manipulate it, just punch holes in it and get what he wants. But the fun thing about it is, why? And he's kind of doing everything that we all want to do, but we have this moral fabric that prevents us from doing it. I didn't see it coming. I really didn't see it coming at, at the end of the episode. I'm like, wow, yeah, this guy's does. a nut job, or he's psychotic, or he's smart as hell. Um, I'm a, I'm a fan of it. I mean, talk about bias. Yeah, I'm a little biased towards rideshare myself, I'll be honest with you. Okay, so Eric, I've yeah. got to ask you a question. <laughs> Ever since our first conversation and you were we were talking about the character, this is a weird question, I know. Um, is there a little bit of Keith in you right now? Have you ever, you know, used your charm or, you know, <laughs> this is a very scandalous question, I know, so I feel it's appropriate to ask. Have you ever uh, pulled a Keith and, uh, you know, used your powers of persuasion to get something maybe, you know, not the absolute right way? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, I think we all, just like Super App, I and mean, we, all, we all have, God, I sound like a, a Marvel movie right now, but we all have one ability, right? We're all given, we all have something in our, in our holster that we kind of, you know, take out when we need to. And, uh, you know, I've, I, sure, when, when the odds have been up against me, I've, I've twisted the rules and bent them a little bit, never broken them, so to speak, but it's, 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 a, it's a tough world out there. And maybe that's why Keith, you know, does what he does. Maybe he's... He's got an axe to grind. Who, who knows why he's doing what he's doing? But I would, I would say yes. How about yourself? Have you ever done that as well? Never. <laughs> no. Why no. would we do why that? Would I, why, would, why would any of us? Yeah. Uh, yes, I, don't, I've done, I don't cheat on my taxes. I've, I've, I've done that stuff many a time. Sorry to say it. Um, because no, the, no. World, the world is set up to squash us, so we kind of have to squash back a little bit once in a while. That's I think right. that's interesting to not only hear, but – to ingest. Eric, I was going to ask you, you've got this incredible fan base. How do you think your fan base is going to react to, to hearing you uh, as Keith in Rideshare for a whole series? 
I, they're 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 gonna dig it. They're gonna love it because um, my my character on the soap, although he's he's taken his dark turns for for many many years, he's essentially a, a do gooder. You know, he's a he's a Dudley do right kind of guy, and I want to go down the right path and do the right thing. So this will be a departure, and I think a, a very welcome departure for fans and the daytime community. They very they are very loyal. I've always uh, thought that they're synonymous to country music fans in the sense that. <laughs> They will follow their guy, you know, they, and the, no matter if it's a bad album, six bad albums, they'll still go to the concerts. They'll still, you know, soaps are the same way. They're very loyal and they will they will tune into this and they, they will they will catch it and they will love it. I think they'll enjoy it very much. What what made you say like ride share, you know, for season another season? What made you say this is something I want to do? Well, number one, uh, the team. I mean, you, you guys are obviously passionate about what you're doing, that this is not just some, just some flyaway project that you just, eh, maybe we'll try this out. You're, you're obviously dedicated to this. This yeah. whole team is passionate about this thing. And I could feel that in the studio that day. Quite honestly, I didn't know what I was walking in on. Uh, I, I accepted the project uh, much, much due to the trust in, in, that I had for Lindsay and her, uh, her ability to, to just search out good people and, and good projects. And at the end of the day, as an actor, that's really what you want to be a part of. You want to be a part of, I don't care how idea, if the idea is crazy and kooky and out there, if the people are passionate about it, it could, you could be breaking new ground. I mean, and that's what we, that's what we want to do. We want to eventually have our name on something that's interesting and causes a stir. And I think that's precisely why you got on board as well. I mean, because we're all like, wow, that's, I don't know if this has really been done before in this way. So you know, I'm in. I love, I love fear. I love to dive in when something's a little scary and, a, and something's a little off, just like Keith probably. But uh, <laughs> I think that's the crank best, it up a little bit. That's the best motivator for a project when it when you're not so sure whether it's going to work or not. That's when you strike gold. So. Yeah. That's, well, it, that's why I'm in, man. Uh, we look forward as a team to presenting even more uh, great content that's groundbreaking, both, uh, you know, as an audio offering and also as a visual offering. Um, just stay tuned some, for some great things from Digital Sky, for Rideshare, as well as other projects we have in the works. Scott, uh, any last words you'd like to say to uh, the audience? There is going to be uh, uh, twists and turns around every corner. I got to tell everybody, of course, remember to subscribe to Digital Sky on Apple Podcasts and to leave a rating and review. And yes, I can guarantee you, as Crystal said, we read every review, uh, especially the really good ones. And don't forget that you can also watch our video version of our episodes on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the Digital Sky channel on YouTube, like our videos, and definitely leave a comment. Now, by the way, did I mention that the Digital Sky team loves interacting with you on social media? We do. We absolutely we do. do. We do, we do. Feel free to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, leave comments, like, follow, the whole good thing. And if you love season one of Digital Sky, which of course we know lots of people did, get ready for Rideshare, the spinoff series from Digital Sky. So on behalf of our entire team, we'd like to thank you one more, one more time for listening, watching, and supporting Digital Sky. We'll see you next time.